Alex, you want to kick us off? Johnny, felt like another one of those tight games that's gone against you. We've seen a bit this month, the last few weeks. Um, get your take on it for the first place. Um, yeah, listen. I think, I think the, the 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 month we've had, I think there's been some excellent performances. Um, I think obviously everyone who saw us at Watford and and Preston saw that we didn't deserve to lose the games. You know, there's lots of positives to take out of them. Um, the game at home against QPR, uh, we had the better chances and should have won the game really, apart from a, a great save from John Ruddy near the end. You know, gave us a, a vital point. Um, but I mean, today's game, we're up against the top team. Top players, you know, they'll they'll end up in the top two or three, I'm sure, um, because that, that's the nature of the squad. Um, and you know, that first half performance from us uh, was a little bit passive. Uh, passive defensively, we still looked pretty solid and limited them to very few chances. You could hear their crowd uh, turn halfway through the game as well, which was what we wanted. We had some good opportunities in the final third, but lacked that quality pass. Um, you know, which we, we, we've been um, not great all season at in that final third. But you know, coming out of the second half, we had a fantastic opportunity to go one nil up. It's a great save, and uh, the manner we conceded the two goals was really disappointing. You know, not like us who was sloppy, sloppy in possession on the halfway line, gave it away, defended a couple of crosses, and then didn't track the the third phase of the attack. And um, you know, which was disappointing. Made some positive subs just after the goal. You know, Dems obviously. Uh, came on, did really well. Dems and Backer, and uh, again we were just loose in in possession in that middle of the pitch, and and they counted on us and and punished us. You know that's what happens when you've got uh, uh, top players in in their positions. You mentioned obviously they're, they're not taking the chances, they're at the feet. Um, how do you improve on that? Is it just about repetition? Constantly doing, getting in the right areas. Yeah, and this is what we've got to do. We've got to keep uh, keep working in the, on the training pitch. You know, um, the players are getting the opportunities. You know, so it's about them standing up and stepping up and, and being the man. You, you know, I think everyone could see we had two or three really good chances again today. Um, but someone's got to stand up and say, "I want to be the man who scores the goals." You know, we've got young Jay Stansfield on loan at 20 years old. You know, he's a st standout performer at the moment in in creating and finishing. So, you know, we need more players to to step up. And um, hopefully we can. Jay showed a little bit of both today, you know, playing wide and getting creating a few chances first half, and then obviously he moved in more centrally second half, and he almost got the the goal in four or five minutes. Yeah, yeah, outstanding player, you know, and um, it's important that we we keep. Um, Feeding him the ball, you know, we keep getting him in the right areas, and uh, you know, he certainly makes things happen. Where do you prefer him, John? Because obviously, it felt a little bit like you had a bit of a problem at left wing today with Keshi out, and obviously, three probably not fit to start. Mm. Was it more necessity that you had to play there rather than preference? Uh, yeah, listen, I, I think you can see he does the work off the ball, gets in uh, defensively, keeps his uh, shape, does the responsibility there, you know, and and also we signed him for on the back of him doing very well on that left side from Exeter last year, you know, so again, he's a threat from that area is, you know, he can create, he can score from there, um, which I think, you know, he's proven that already. So, listen, I think he can play uh, anywhere across the front three or four and, um, you know, we're very fortunate to have him. Just get your thoughts on Manny because, you know, he's probably got a decent chance now to get some games over the next few weeks with, with Lee out. Um, how do you think he's today? Yeah, Manny did okay today. You know, it was a very difficult game for him. Obviously, coming in um, away at Norwich is, is difficult on the back of not many performances. But you know, he's got to grow with them and uh, keep building on his performances. And um, you know, he'll be fine. How do you view next week's games now? Because two home games, you're going to be trying to obviously get back back to winning ways after a difficult month. Yeah, uh, of course. Listen, we want to win games. Of course, we do. Um, you know, it's important that we we finish uh, this week off strongly. Now, you know, two home games and uh, and see where it takes us. Given the opportunities that you had in the second half, I think Sands will be mentioned, but also you've hit the bar and then the header at the end from the sub. Does that feel like you've had as many clear <coughs> openings as they had and on another day you perhaps should have got something, not Mike, should have got something mm. from that game? Yeah, but it's been a problem that we've had all season, really. And you know, we need to be more clinical in that final third. We know that we created a lot of chances, um, you know, and it's just something that we need to keep improving on. And these two games ahead, obviously home form has been, you know, I think we've picked up most of your points this season. Do you feel that your side, you had injuries, will you have people back for those games to consolidate the squad ahead of those two important games? Um, I don't think we'll have anyone back, but I think we have to remember we've lost three games in nine now. 
Um, you know, we've had a good solid start. The performances have been excellent up to now. Uh, today, with the ball, we weren't a, as fluid as what we wanted to be, but defensively, we still look pretty solid. Um, you know, so it's just important that we keep believing in the process. You know, it's a long season. I said there'll be some really difficult moments, which there always is in the championship, and we haven't won in six games, but the performances have been, been good. You know, so. Um, you know, we just keep going and, um, you know, we're fighters and we're not victims here at the football club and um, that's something I drive in every day and, um, you know, we're, we're, we've got an opportunity now Tuesday to put things right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers.